What's up guys, Captain Creatine here, going over my main source of food today, creatine, that's a joke by the way. Basically there's a lot of different types of creatine, now generally the cheaper kinds and the more expensive kinds work just about the same. The only difference between this is that it has carbs and glutamine in it, as long as you buy a glutamine supplement and just eat carbs before you take your creatine, it's the same thing, you can get it for a lot cheaper. As for dosages, you're going to want to take around 300 of a gram of creatine for every pound of body weight. For anybody that failed math in high school, 300 of a gram is .03. Another thing you're going to want to do when you're on creatine, drink plenty of water if you're your pee is not clear, you are dehydrated, and that is bad for your kidney. Anybody who ever did any research on creatine and heard about loading phases, where it's basically a loading phase means you take a very high dosage of creatine in order to get it absorbed into your system faster. That is bullshit because it's trying to get you to buy more of their product. Because think about it. Let's say you go through a tub like this, right? This has 120 servings. Let's say you load on three servings a day. You just divide your dose in three. So the best thing to do is just to gradually take it in over time. That way you don't have to waste money. Eventually you'll get into your system. Take creatine pre-workout. It's not gonna help you with your workout. Creatine gets saturated in your muscles over time. It takes about a week usually. And then after that week, you'll start getting slightly, maybe increased strength, maybe a tiny bit of water retention. Not a lot though. A lot of people say that creatine is all water weight, but really where that originated from is when creatine first came out, there's a lot of crappy quality versions of it and the problem with that is that it had a lot of water retention because it had ingredients other than creatine monohydrate basically what creatine does i'll explain it to you guys once it gets saturated into your muscles it increases the amount of atp your body reproduces so with better atp which is human energy you'll be able to push more weight for more reps because you'll have more energy during your workout and a lot of people say well it's atp you have more energy so why don't i just take caffeine it's the same thing because caffeine is a stimulant and a stimulant works in a short period of time it doesn't actually give your body more energy it just makes your body release hormones that make you be more aware and with that awareness, you have better mental focus, things like that. But this is actually increasing your energy reserves, so that way you can push more weight. It'll help you over time. It's not going to be an overnight thing, but over time, any benefit that you get is really going to help you. And creatine just happens to be one of the most researched supplements out there on the market right now. I can't emphasize enough: do not buy the more expensive creatines unless you're willing to spend the extra money. They will basically do the same thing no matter what you buy. I'm not ripping on Selmis. Selmis is a great product. I really like it. They all work just as well. Monohydrate is actually the most researched out of all the other types of creatine. Any type of creatine is more expensive is really just trying to get money out of you that's it this helped you guys out please like comment subscribe captain creatine out peace